trying to organize all of our stuff because we're doing a two-day backpacking trip starting tomorrow. We've got about three and a half, four miles up to where we're camping tonight. Try to get one right off of that. The rock down to the right, you see it? Just drift it right over there. Yes. Oh. All right, Chuck and I are here. We're in my garage right now, trying to organize all of our stuff because we're doing a two-day backpacking trip starting tomorrow. We're only doing a night. Uh, we were gonna do two nights, but Charlie has some homework to do. Due on Sunday night, 11.59. So we're gonna have to leave uh, a little early, but that's totally okay. Let's figure out, let's kind of consolidate what, what we're gonna put in which pack here. Okay. Let's move the stuff like that we're like, okay, we're not like over here and then just like keep the big here. stuff out. Yeah. yeah. In my fly box, I condensed all the flies that I really I kind of need for this weekend, just into one box. Got my chubbies, dries, got a variety of nymphs. But the more that I've done this, the more that I've realized how little I really need, especially when it comes to my fishing stuff. I'm excited to have some time, kind of away from service, hang out with the cousin, and uh, yeah, hopefully get into hopefully get into some good fish. Peanut butter, and banana wraps. We're ready to go. See you in the morning. All right, brother. See you in the morning. Should be fun. Alrighty, car is all packed, bags are in there. Let's get after it. All right, we made it to the trailhead. Chuck's first backpacking experience. About to hit the trail, here we go. So we're on the trail now. We've got about three and a half, four miles up to where we're camping tonight. So it'll probably take us roughly anywhere from hour 20 to like hour 40. We're gonna set up camp once we get there and hopefully we'll have a little bit of time where we can, uh, we can go fish tonight before we have to kind of settle in and make a fire and everything. Is this it? Is that a cross? About to go across this river, which is gonna feel so nice. Getting a little sweaty from the hike. We're wearing hiking boots, and uh, there are only hiking boots, so we're gonna just take off the socks, take off the boots, cross really quick, and uh, I think our campsite's just up here. We're just kind of picking out a spot for our tent right now. Um, we're gonna get camp all set up, go get some wood. We've got a nice little spot here. Got some, uh, still got some light coming in, and we're uh, we're right here next to the river, so it's really kind of a perfect campsite. Let's see, yeah. There it is. Oh, it flow! We finally got uh, the bear bag situation figured out. It took a few tries, so basically we're gonna have a pulley system. Just gonna clamp it in here, and. I'm probably talking like I know what I'm doing. This is literally the first time I've ever done this. But we'll just pull our, we'll hook our bear bag here so we have a big dry bag. And we'll just pull it up all the way to the top and then tie it off up here. And our food will be elevated and away from the bears. So should be good. All right, we, uh, we've got a little bit of light, like probably like 20 minutes or so. We've got camp all set up, rigged up a little dry drop, and uh, we're gonna go hit this little bank. Uh, see if we can uh, catch a few fish here and maybe there will even be a little, little hatch coming off.
First one, baby. Nice pretty little bow. One down. Chuck's turn now. Mend it. Oh! Nailed it, dude. Ooh. Oh! Dude. Dude, that's a good fish. Yeah, he ate the dry. Nice! Got him. Let's go, dude. Eat. Boom. Look at that brown. It's an awesome fish. Sorry, I did not mean to do that. Good release. That was a nice start, dude. Nice start. That's yeah, two that's... for two. All right, so we got the skunk out of the way. Char and I both got on uh, on some fish, and we're gonna fish this last hole. It's a super deep hole. Looks like we're gonna try to get above it. Try to get one right off of that. The rock down to the right. You see it? Just drift it right over there. There's that rock, and then there's the one on the right. So yeah, both of them. <laughs> we good. It is 8.45. It feels like it's midnight. <laughs> Hoping to get up at first light tomorrow. And then we've got all day tomorrow to, uh, to fish. So... Obviously today, in the 30 minutes that we fished, we did pretty well, so hoping for it to be pretty good. All right, we just got up this morning, made a little uh, oatmeal, made a little coffee. Tastes absolutely amazing. We're rigging up right now. Charlie's putting on uh, on some flies, and uh, we can just see the sun coming. It's just the peeking over the ridge. Glorious. It feels so good. We're definitely about to take the downs off. Yeah, once we get we get all rigged up, we're gonna hike up about a mile, and then we're we're gonna start fishing. Camping is giving us the luxury of being all the way up here at this point um, in the morning, whereas we'd probably just be getting to the trail and be like an hour or two behind. So we had a nice little morning hanging out at camp, but we are ready to fish and hit the trail. Charlie and I are literally about to walk up the stream, and Adam, other cousin, he said he's like, I might come, I might not come, and we have no cell service, so he surprised us, and here he is, dude. Here's what happened. Scotty and Charlie packed into the backcountry last night, and before they left, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to go or not, so um, I just told him, hey, listen, you guys go back there, and if I feel up for it, I'll, I'll, f I'll find you guys. <laughs> and uh, And he found us. And uh, I found He's him. Yeah, we're here. Let's go stick him. Did you see the top ones anywhere, Carly? No. I think we passed it a while ago. So I think we, uh, we hiked a little too far and we missed a turn. So we are way up on this stream that we're, we're trying to fish. But there's an epic waterfall down here. So we're gonna go hit that and then just kind of fish our way downstream uh, the rest of the day. Yes. Oh, a little far right. I could fish though. Oh! The under. Yes, sir. <laughs> 
Right up in this. <laughs> yeah, buddy. So now Scotty threw on a little midge off the bottom, so we figured if we got a little deeper, then maybe we'd get some more action. And uh, I think it was second, third cast in. This guy hammered it. Good little bow. Good bow, man. I'm pumped. Chubster. Gross. <laughs> you. Yeah, this uh, this works right here. You can't tell me there's not a fish in there. Oh, dang it. Right. Well, right. we just got back to camp. Charlie has to, to head out. And uh, because Adam decided to show up, I guess I'm staying another night. So we got one more night at camp, which is sweet. Uh, we're going to say goodbye to Chuck, and then we're going to go fish for like an hour or two more until uh, it gets dark. I don't know how many miles of hiking we did today, but we did way more than we needed to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it was awesome. Great fishing. The weather was perfect. It's a bummer that I have to roll out, but um, at least you have another night, so um, you guys enjoy it. See you, bro. Good stick, Scotty. Good fish. Oh, don't get caught in that tree. Nice, dude. got a little trip around the world here. We're gonna start in India with Indian korma. From there, we're gonna go to Thailand um, and we're gonna do some Thai curry. Ooh. Spicy yellow coconut curry with vegetables and jasmine rice. And then to top us off, we're gonna have a little south of the border flavor, a little Mexican quinoa bowl. Well, we were
we're not even supposed to be here today, and uh, Adam decided to surprise us and show up. So we uh, we had an awesome day of fishing. We got some some good food here cooked up, and uh, we're gonna enjoy the rest of the night. Just hang out here on camp, and then and then get to bed. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. This was a super fun trip to take with my cousins. And editing this has me really excited for spring, warm weather, and some really cool trips we've got planned. With it being a new year, that means new goals. And one of the biggest goals I have for this channel is to reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We are currently at 42.8 thousand subscribers, which is not 100. So you guys need to subscribe. As of now, 77% of the people who watch our videos are not subscribed to the channel. So if this is your first time, if this is your 10th time watching a video and you like what we're doing, you like the kind of videos we put out, hit that subscribe button and help us get to 100,000 by the end of the year. And lastly, I want to let you know that we just restocked on a bunch of hats, which you can see behind me, including some brand new colors and styles. So if you're interested in checking any of that out, go to wild-fly.com slash shop. It will be linked down below. And that's gonna do it for us here for this video. We will see you guys in the next one.